Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on which part of the world you're listening in from. <clears throat> I just wanted to do a quick video um, because I've got an appointment in about an hour. And so I wanted to talk about those people who feel as though they do not have to follow the law. I mean, I know we get so inundated with um, talking about the coronavirus. Some people are mimicking it, like Rudy Gobard, the French basketball player who was touching all the microphones and then found out he had it. And then we had an Australian lady. Um, she's visiting in, in Australia. Uh, she's a tourist in Australia. She's diagnosed with COVID ID for COVID-19. Um, she's told to self-isolate, but oh no, she decides to jump on a plane and go to a neighbouring island in Queensland, a private island called Hamilton Island, and decides to go there and go on a beach and relax and do whatever she wants. There are just some people who feel as though whatever's happening outside, whether it's the virus, regardless of what it is, we don't know what it is yet. People are talking about is 5G. You know, but then, you know, some of these countries haven't got 5G installed in their countries, like Jamaica. It hasn't got 5G installed in their countries. And so then you've got people talking about it's being injected into people. But the people who are claiming to have it haven't had injection. So it's very difficult to work out what exactly is going on and what it is. We know something is going on. We do not know what it is. So we need to protect ourselves and protect others. Anyway, I'm going to let you listen to an audio. It's an audio from a Jamaican um, pers personnel in the airport. And she experienced um, this situation with Elephant Man. For those of you who do not know who Elephant Man is, he's a big Jamaican singer. And he went touring in Europe including some of the high-risk areas. And then when he came back to Jamaica, he did not admit to going to some of the countries, some of the high-risk countries. So they let him through. And the only reason they let him through is because his entourage, um, you'll, you'll hear the name of um, the other person in this audio, um, said that he was in Germany. And um, so how come they let Elephant Man through? And they said, well, he said he hadn't been there. So Elephant Man then lied that he had been to this country. He then does an audio or a video explaining and apologising. But by that time, he's gone where he's gone. He's come from a place where it's populated, highly populated because he's an entertainer. He's then gone through customs. He's then gone through the people who probably know him. You don't know who's hugging him up from who's not hugging him up. He's then gone, um, found his way home, and then he decides to do a video saying, I'm in self-isolation. But supposing he did have it, all of those people he's passed on the way, would have he would have contaminated them. So it's the arrogance of some people. All you've got to do is follow protocol. You know, that's all you've got to do. Whether or not you think it's hype, whether or not you think it's a load of nonsense, whether or not you believe it or not, we do not know what it is, what they, what, what's out there. We don't know. And all you've got, you have a responsibility to yourself and to others to try and protect yourself. So all you've got to do is you say, oh, yes, I went to Germany. They'll give you a quick health check. I mean, to be honest, they'll probably tell him to quarantine for two weeks, which is what he has to do now anyway. And then, you know, you're on your own, but at least they know the source. But when people lie and go through and you don't know what their actions are and they don't get the advice, we don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, let me just um, let me just um, let you hear the audio first and forgive it if pop ups come up. Hold on. Oh, this bloody I phone. I don't know why it does that. But also, I... I don't know why it does that. You know, it just goes blank, the screen. 
you can hear it, but it goes blank. And I prefer to hear it. So, and I want you to hear it. And I want to be able to turn it up. And I can't do that when it is low. So, apologies. So now it's not working. Come on. Ah. Oh. All right. <clears throat> to be fair to the government, um, I do agree with you, Yanni, that there is some cover up going on. But also, I also believe that they are, in fact, trying their best to put in place the necessary contingency plans. However, it's not trickling down to the persons at the grassroots, the persons on the on the ground. And I say this to say, um, an incident happened yesterday and I am in no way banded by any secrecy act to share and I'm gonna share because I want persons to know. I didn't take to social media because I'm not that person, but I will share it with people and hope that the word will get around. Now, a popular dance hall act came to the airport yesterday with his entourage. They came off the flight from Brussels, and I asked him if he was in Germany, and he said no, and he did not declare it on his form. Mm. He was landed and sent through. He proceeded to stop at the Cambio, where a co-worker of mine, who on passing, heard him say, in which the world are we dead because you know all the excitement for we have our mask and gloves. Now, I'm talking about Elephant Man. Now, me not careful if anybody can share this part, it's not. Share it. Because at the end of the day, these are the things that are breaking down our society. The ignorance, arrogance, and just the lack of regard. Now, for any human being, whether in their right mind or not, to actually wish death upon persons who are working for their country in the country's best interest is not only distasteful, but it's disheartening because we had on our gloves and our masks. No, he had no sense of self because he lied on his declaration form. That's one. That's an offense. He was asked by the officer, me, Crystal Hall, were you in Germany? He denied it. Now, there were no stamps in the passport because even you go to Europe and you move around in Europe, if you're not landed in a particular um, country, then you won't have a stamp because you can move freely through Europe, right? Um, he was allowed to go. He and another colleague of his, his, both of them did not declare going to Germany. Now, Germany is high risk. Germany is a country where from your, coming from Germany, you're either going to be quarantined if you're Jamaican or you're going to be sent back. Right? If you're not Jamaican. Um, Ragin King came up after. I did not process him. Um, however, he was sent to help because he declared going to Germany. Now, upon his declaration, he made it known that Elephant Man was also in Germany and I allowed him to go. Now, I'm explaining to him that he did not declare that he was in Germany. That's how he was sent through. To the point where police had to be called because of how Ragin King was behaving in the hall about being sent to health for simple health screening. Everybody who came was allowed to go to the yard. Now, bear in mind, these are persons that are coming from high-risk countries who potentially are or were exposed to the virus. And because of brutish force and loudness, they are gone to them yards. Bear in mind, these are all performers, so-called entertainers, who more than likely are going to be mixing up amongst the general population. So whilst the government is stipulating 
certain practices when it comes down to the ground level certain things are still not being enforced now another situation happened a young lady was denied um, extension of stay at our passport office in Montego Bay. She proceeded to sneeze on the officer in retaliation to what she was told that she would not have been given the extension in our country because she had already overstayed her visit. So she already breached, she already broke the law and was being sent back home. She proceeded to sneeze on the officer and wish that the officer catch the virus. Nothing was done. This person was not in any way dealt with legally. Nothing was done. So these are all the abuses that persons who are on the ground have to be facing without much enforcement. And so when I say to you that there is a possibility that this thing will not be controlled. It is because of the behavior, the indiscipline, the lack of regard, the lack of understanding of the severity of the issue, why this is going to happen. Okay, so, so that is... Um what happened and the thing is is that you find a lot of Jamaicans they're bawling and blaming the government for allowing the corona virus to come into the country saying that they're not paying enough attention and that they should be doing that this and that but when somebody like elephant man who is somebody that people look up to just totally defies protocol that's how it comes into the country. How do we know how many people, especially when they're celebrities, and they can be quite intimidating to people at the airport, airport staff, because it's almost like, you know, you, how dare you How dare you ask me any questions? You know, I am so-and-so. I'm not saying that's what he said, but that is the image that they portray. Some of them portray. And because some of them portray that image, a lot of um, the staff will just make them go through just because they are who they are. So when you find coronavirus spiralling out of control in Jamaica, we, like I said, we do not know what is causing it, how it's happening, how it's getting into people's systems. Because I understand that, you know, some people say it's because of the um, the wavelengths in the 5G poles, but in Jamaica you don't have that. So it's of, not unless these people are coming from areas where they have 5G and then developing the symptoms. But there again, I don't believe that those symptoms can be contagious. So I don't know what's going on. All I know is that in order to safeguard the country and your people and your neighbours and your friends, just try and do the best you can. And if it means self-isolating or going through a quick health check, just do it. What's the big deal? You know, some people are just so arrogant and they feel as though certain rules don't apply to them. Now, obviously, Elephant Man has been informed about maybe this video or somebody has asked him about it. So he's come out with an apology. This elephant man, the energy guy, you know, sending some positive message your way. And I just want to say, I really, really, really sincerely apologize to the staff at the Sanstas International Airport and the Minister of Health and the people of Jamaica. I also want to apologize for any misunderstanding in the way I incorrectly completed the form. After my long journey, I actually put the last country. I arrived from as the opposed to all the countries I attended in the last six weeks. Sorry for that. Job asleep, you don't know. See, I have spoken to the authorities and I am self-quarantined at home. I went directly home after leaving the airport and I have not left my house since. Okay. I ask for your complete understanding. Your complete understanding. You understand? And I apologize again. 
No, to be honest, no, seriously, seriously, just for an ordinary apology. If it comes from your heart, would you have to read it? Seriously, though. All you've got to do is say sorry to the airport staff. I lied. You know, he's saying he only put the last country. But she, she asked him the question. What you put on the form is one thing. But not only do you put not put that on the form, but then you, she's saying that he physically said he didn't go to Germany. So it's got nothing to do with the form. So the fact that you're saying you're omitted to put all these other countries on the form is one thing. But what you said to the um, the air staff, air, airline staff, is something else. And I just believe if I was going to apologise to somebody, you know, if you were going to do a video like that, all you've got to say, look, it's me, Elephant Man. I met, you know, I didn't want to go through the protocol, so we tell a little lie to the airport staff, and really I shouldn't have done that. Now, on reflection, I realised that they were doing their job. And I also realised the seriousness, or the potential seriousness of my actions, and for that, I apologise. Now, that would have been a sincere apology. But you're reading something from a piece of paper that should be coming from your heart. Oh. Anyway, that's all I've got to say because I said this was going to be a quick video and it's gone over what I thought it was going to go over. So, yeah, I'm just sharing. I'll do another one later about something totally different. But for now, take care of yourself and have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.